Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to talk about plug flow reactors uh, in Aspen Hisis. Uh, we already have recorded uh, one tutorial regarding uh, plug flow reactors in DWC software. So uh, the basic information regarding plug flow reactor and uh, where they are used, what are their characteristics and uh, the mole balance derivation across the plug flow reactor is already discussed in tutorial number 8 of a series introduction to DWC. So I am going to give you a link in the description of this video. So in the end uh, you will be able to compare the results uh, of the same problem that we already have solved in DWSIM software and now we are going to solve the same uh, problem in Aspen Hisis so you will be able to compare the results of these two different softwares. So the objective of this uh, tutorial is to familiarize you how you can simulate a plug flow reactor in Aspen Hisis to find the uh, volume of a reactor for a given uh, conversion. So we will solve the same problem that we already have solved in DWSIM. So the problem statement is cis-tubutene to trans-tubutene is actually a homogeneous irreversible uh, isomerization reaction and it is liquid phase reaction and uh, the reaction kinetics is first order and uh, the rate expression is given here rate of reaction so what we have to do we have to calculate the reactor volume which is required to achieve 95 percent reaction conversion and here we are assuming that the process is steady state and reaction is happening at adiabatic condition so there is no heat entering or leaving through the system and uh, a single tube reactor with the initial with the total length of reactor is one meter so uh, the feed is consisted of pure cis tubutene with the flow rate of 100 kg mol per hour uh, which is entering into the reactor at 12 bar pressure and 25 degrees c so this is our problem statement let's go to the aspen hisis to solve this problem well, now we are in high seas environment. The first step is we have to uh, specify the components which are involving in the simulation. So there are two. One is cis 2 butene. So here is cis 2 butene. And the second one is trans tube butene. And uh, here we have trans tube butene. So yeah. we already specify both the components. Now next step is go to the fluid package. And uh, here we are going to select NRTL. Why? Because in DWSIM we choose the NRTL uh, fluid package. So to compare our results with uh, the previous uh, DW sim uh, simulation uh, we are going to use this one okay so select NRTL non-random to liquid fluid package so everything is specified so the property environment is fully specified next step is go to the simulation environment okay now we are in simulation environment and you can see this uh, model palette window here we can have all the components so go to the reactors and from reactors select a plug flow reactor and drop it into the uh, simulation canvas and uh, then close this window double click on uh, plug flow reactor so i am just uh, specifying the feed and uh, 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 feed and uh, product stream here directly so this is feed and this is product stream and uh, this one is the energy energy i can say okay maybe q okay all these streams are specified so next step go to the parameters 
and uh, we are assuming that there is no pressure drop inside the reaction so i am putting uh, inside the reactor i am putting uh, uh, pressure difference or pressure drop inside the reactor is zero and duty parameter so uh, in problem statement it is uh, given that the reaction is happening at adiabatic condition so the duty is zero so uh, after that uh, next step is we have to specify reactions and uh, for reactions go back to the properties go to the reactions and here add a new reaction okay so uh, add a reaction and select kinetic okay close this window double click on it okay add component so we have two components cis-tubutene and trans-tubutene and uh, psychometric coefficient because cis-tubutene is our reactant so it's that's why i'm putting minus one and trans-tubutene is a product so plus one okay and uh, go to this right hand side so you can see uh, the basis molar concentration base component is cis tubutene that is okay reaction phase is liquid phase mean max temperature are already defined now the forward reaction we have to specify the kinetics of this reaction and if you go to the problem statement we have a uh, reaction constant or uh, velocity constant of this reaction the value is given 0 0.003833 so i am going to specify here 0 0.003833 uh, i think it is the correct value 3833 okay and uh, if you and uh, e and b uh, put 00 why because if you see in the expression here so the k is equal to a into exponent of ert into t power b so if we we have a value of k so we are directly uh, putting it in front of a and putting e and b equal to zero then uh, this equation is satisfied k is equal to a because the rest of uh, the equation will be equal to one okay so now the reaction is specified okay now the next step is you have to attach this reaction with your fluid package just press add to fluid package okay add set to the fluid package click on it now the the reaction set is ready to be used okay after uh, uh, defining the reaction just go back again into the simulation environment okay okay double click on the plug flow reactor and go to the rating tab and here uh, in problem statement it is given that the reactor length is one meter okay so uh, i am going to define the reactor length that is equal to one meter and the total volume i am going to take an initial guess 0 0.5 why because um, uh, it is required we have to find the reactor volume that is required for 95 percent conversion okay but uh, i am using this 0 0.5 cubic meter value and then see how much is the conversion and then we will use adjust function to achieve 95 percent conversion to have a reactor volume which is required for that okay so we have defined the reactor conditions okay just close this window and after that go to the feed and here specify the feed temperature that was 25 degrees c and feed pressure was 12 bar so change it from here 12 bar and feed flow rate was 100 kg mol per hour next step is go to the compositions and uh, the feed stream is purely consisted of cis tubutene and trans tubutene is zero press okay 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 so again double click on reactor 
go to the reactions because we did not specify the reaction set so just click here and insert the reaction set so you can see when i just give the uh, reaction information the simulation is already converged okay so go to the product stream and uh, go to the product and go to the composition so you can see that uh, the compo the the cis tubutene is still there 48 percent so the conversion is not 95 percent of cis tubutene so now how we can uh, have a 95% uh, conversion at what volume to know the volume of a reactor that will be required to give you 95% conversion uh, I am going to uh, use uh, adjust function for that go to the models and stream window and uh, from here go to the manipulators and from manipulators select adjust and put it into the simulation environment now double click on it okay so what is the adjusted variable what we want to adjust so we want to adjust actually the uh, reactor volume okay so click on it so we want to adjust reactor volume and what is the target variable again the target variable is the reaction conversion so the active conversion so we have to select and what is the specified or targeted value it is 95 percent okay so go to the uh, parameters and here uh, specify the step size 0 0.1 and uh, the iteration we are going to have 1000 iteration after that just press start button and uh, now the simulation is being running and it's already been converged so let's go to see the results okay so uh, the go to the product stream again go to the composition so you can see transbutene is 95% or 95 mole fraction in the product stream and 5 uh, in the uh, cis-tubutene uh, in the product stream. So it means cis-tubutene is already converted into transtubutene 95%. Okay. Now how much volume is required for this? Just go to the rating and you can see the total volume which is required for this conversion is 2.254 cubic meter okay so to to know the performance of a reactor to see the uh, concentration curves inside the reactor length just click on this performance and uh, go to the composition and after composition just press this plot button okay then this new dialog will open so from here uh, i am just selecting uh, black color for cis tubutene and uh, tra for trans tubutene is blue so you can see across the reactor length that is one meter the uh, concentration or the mole fraction of uh, uh, cis tubutene is continuously decreasing and the product that is the trans tubutene is continuously increasing so this is one result that we can have from uh, this problem statement uh, here from uh, from this uh, information we can also uh, uh, able to to generate the reaction rate of reaction okay so the uh, because in plug flow reaction in plug flow reactor the rate reaction rate is uh, not constant throughout the reactor and actually depends on the uh, it changes along the length of a reactor and you can see uh, in this uh, sorry in this uh, uh, in this plot 
So with the the with the length of a reactor, the rate of reaction initially decreases uh, significantly. Then after 0.6 meter, it becomes almost uh, uh, almost the same because at the start the the change in concentration of the reactant is higher compared to the in the, compared to the end of the reaction so this is the way how you can simulate plug flow reactor and how you can analyze uh, the concentration profiles of reactant and product as well as the rate of reaction inside the reactor length how is changing along the length of a reactor so that's all for uh, today's uh, tutorial i hope you now fully understand how you can simulate plug flow reactor in dwc thanks for watching please do not forget to subscribe the channel and like it and share it with your friends uh, until next video bye bye